Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars, and today my pick of the day is this 1999 Trainwreck Climax. This amp is built by Kendrick, designed by Ken Fisher, the late Ken Fisher, who passed away in 2006. So when Ken Fisher's health was starting to deteriorate, and he started slowing down the process of just hand making these amps alone, he started bringing other guys to help him. And in this case, he sent the original prototype amp of the Climax, I think the only combo that Trainwreck made, to Kendrick to recreate it. And they made 100 of these in 1999. So Trainwrecks are one of these amps, like Dumbles, and I almost want to say more so with Trainwreck. When you get one in, all of a sudden you're flooded with emails, guys telling you what's better, what's wrong, who did this, what's wrong about your posting, and an army comes out to talk about the amp, and they've probably never been in the same room as one. Doing a little bit of research on these amps, I saw tons of guys talking about, oh, they're nothing like the original Ken Fisher amps, they can't touch the original Trainwrecks. I've had three or four original Trainwrecks solely built by Ken Fisher, this is it, as good as any of those, honestly, to me. They did an incredible, incredible job on this. I'm holding this folder that comes with it that is filled with, well, pictures of the original owner and some recording sessions with it. Tons of letters from Kendrick, or from Ken Fisher to Kendrick Amps. You know, going back and forth as far as the design, and there's a little delay. It looks like they started kind of getting the design together in 97, but it was 1999 when these were officially released. Due to his deteriorating health and just problem sourcing some of these components, it took a couple years. Finally, in 1999, they were released to the public, and only 100 of them were made, and they are absolutely amazing. The idea of this amp is basically a blackface Fender Princeton reverb, uh, which has a Texas T knob that kind of switches it between blackface and a tweed tone. Then you have your traditional Trainwreck Express. It's a 210 amp with the Fane Alnico speakers in it. The cool thing about this amp is it really does nail that train wreck dumble tone. And to me, that is tonal detail. It has this backbone stability that just is very, very strong forward uh, type of delivery. In this case, it has some really traditional tones to it. Like I said, the black face, the tweed. The other cool uh, train wrecks I had checked out, the Liverpool, the Express, they were fantastic, but they were really their own thing. And it almost sounded like I mean, you plug into it and that's the tone. I really liked this one because I could kick into cool Fender territory and then I could also go to the other channel and get that kind of uh, preset train wreck tone. I love the, the term Texas T because for whatever reason, when I plugged into it, I thought it just sounded like a crazy cool Texas Fender tone. It's just really strong. That just has that bite and it's kind of on the verge of breakup. It's a cool experience if you've never played one and they, they really nailed it in this. So eventually there are rumors of Gerald Weber and Ken Fisher having a legal battle over this amp, uh, which eventually led to them having to cease the production of this model. Um, I don't know if that's why 100 are made or if they just planned to, but as you know, train wrecks, dumbles, there's a million stories and that's one of them. So I got this amp from a guy who is a really dear friend of mine, collector, who has owned the real stuff. I mean, he's had train wrecks, he's had dumbles, multiple of them. And he bought this thing for a cool combo gigging amp, and you know, he's a guy who shuffles the deck here and there. He had it for a little bit, and we were kind of awing about it. And I went down to California and checked out the amp with him, and it sounded pretty good. And then we put some old Mullards in it, and it sounded out of this world amazing. And I don't want you to think it's just the Mullards that changed this, because just popping those tubes in any amp isn't always gonna do something. But the cool thing about this level boutique amps is every component matters, and that's the deal with Ken Fisher is he's, I mean, he started you know, with electronics for the US Navy and had this incredible career from Ampeg to a couple different companies where he was so focused on detail and just he, extremely meticulous. There's books dedicated to him and websites where guys are absolutely raving about this cat. He was, he was the guy for boutique amps. He kind of skyrocketed that whole thing along with Howard Dumble. Um, it went to influence a lot of great builders like Dr. Z and and so forth, and I mean, these guys seriously knew what they were doing, and, it, and a lot of times they tune these amps specifically for the player, specifically for the guitar that they're, they're using, and uh, it's just a really cool experience. And so to have one that's a fraction of the price, you know, train wrecks we've, we've had that are $50,000, this is not that, it's about 10% of that price, you really, really get that whole idea and that whole uh, vibe of what these are about very different from your standard Dr. Z or Fender Deluxe Reverb. They have, they have a certain dimension to them that 
I mean, is when I plugged into this thing, it was immediately that's that's a train wreck tone. And like I said, it's basically a Fender on steroids. But that's a lot of people talk about that with Dumble. These have a little bit sharper attack, almost like this built-in perfect overdrive to them. Anyways, I love this thing. It's got the beautiful wood cabinet that is very train wreck. So it's got the appearance right, it's got the tone right. Literally, like I said, there's an incredible paper trail uh, down to the schematics and letters back and forth while they were doing this, and they nailed it. Anyways, we have one right here, and I'm telling you, plug into it, and we have a room full of cool boutique amps, vintage stuff. It's its own thing. It's a really, really cool addition for a good price for a boutique amp that, to me, is kind of legendary, honestly. It's, it's a really true recreation of an amp that, you know, Trainwreck couldn't actually put out in time for the world to see. So thank you, Kendrick, for doing such a great job of this. Anyway, so clean volume, the Texas T, again, that goes from blackface to tweed. Really, really cool. I've been cranking it, and it still kind of has the blackface thing, but a little bit more, I'd say a little bit warmer tone, which, which sounds good in this amp. The reverb's awesome. You have the Master Presence, Master High Cut, and the Trainwreck Express. The Express and the Liverpool are two of his super famous models that he put out. They chose to put the Express on this amp. I see why, it sounds awesome. Anyways, 52 Tele, plugged into this Trainwreck, Climax, built by Kendrick. 100 of them made, 1999, 210. Just an absolute monster of an amp. So, let's see how it sounds.
you guys thank you so much for watching once again that was a 52 fender telecaster plugged directly into this train wreck climax built by kendrick hope you enjoyed it and uh see you next time